Rooster up, ladies and gentlemen. That is my LS motor that I purchased last week. This is my Ford F-150. Had a little V6 off in there. I pulled it out. Motor and transmission. Threw it in the garbage. Junked it. Got rid of it. Oh. And you're probably thinking, oh, this idiot's putting a Chevrolet motor to a Ford. He's ruining one or the other. Well, you know what? It's been done time and time again. This ain't no real big deal. Uh, got the complete wiring harness up there. And as you see, it is way off the ground. I'm just getting the truck forward so I can get it off in the hole. Start building my motor mounts. Start getting everything hooked up and get it running because you know Fords are good trucks Chevrolets are good trucks sometimes if you marry the two together you have a great truck well that's what I'm doing I'm putting a Chevy motor into a Ford this is the LS1 motor um, and it's not a big motor it's not some big hot rod but for this little bitty truck right here it'll make it scoot 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 and that's what I want so that's what I'm doing today on Rooster Up. I just wanted to show y'all a little bit of what's going on. And this is my homemade engine hoist. Yeah, that's way up there. That's a 20 ton chain hoist, chain fall. I inherited when my dad passed. There's the big boat sitting over there. So, well, it's a Sunday. It finally stopped raining. Holy crap, it's beautiful today. About 70 degrees. Uh, hear the birds chirping and it's just it's a wonderful day and I decided I was gonna drop this motor off in this truck and start getting things hooked up and see if I can't make it go boom boom pop and fire so be back with you guys in a few minutes guys let me tell you that is a whole lot of motor going off in an itty bitty hole what do y'all think y'all think it's gonna fit it's over the truck. Fix and let it down. And I'm breathing heavy because I've been working. It's not that easy. Especially when you don't take the whole front clip off. You watch them TV shows. They'll take the whole front clip off. And motor and transmission go right in. Then they do their weld and what have you. But I ain't pissing around with all that. I ain't got time for it. I'm just going to slide it right off in the hole just like it is shoehorn it right down in there so which I will tell you I've had to let the motor back down tighten up my chains right here on top of the motor I had to tighten them up because I was about that much short so I tightened up my chains and then jacked it back up in the air and then pulled the truck forward and that's why I'm out of breath because I've been working to come along plus the chain fall and it's rough, especially by myself. See, nobody else is with me. Not a single soul. I'm just out here in the woods by myself. That's why we call this channel Rooster Up, because you just jump on shit, get her done. I'm beginning to hate that. So, anyways, you rooster up on a son of a bitch. Just get things done the best way you can. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I've got it started in the truck but as you can see this is the back of the motor right there ain't a whole lot of room right there and the balancer on the front that's a harmonic balancer is actually setting about two or three inches off on the front uh, plate here on this front plate um, I guess grill supports what it's called so it's gonna be tight until I get it down in there and wiggled around off in the hole. This is gonna be a real woohoo. So, and mind you, I'm doing this all by myself. This is not something where I got four or five people standing around, you know, just helping me out. Nope, this project is all on my own. Just to let y'all see what kind of rigmarole I got going on there. Pretty neat, huh? 
Amazing what a redneck with a few hand tools can do. <laughs> and we're not done. We got to put the transmission to it once we get it down in there. Uh, get everything hooked up, get it running. And that's going to be a chore in itself, getting it running, because I've never done anything like this. This is a complete electronic Chevrolet motor. This is a electronic Ford truck. We gonna marry them together. So we'll see how it goes, folks. This is wild. I've never in my life had to twist a motor sideways to get it to go down into a hole. But like I said earlier, this is a big motor I'm putting off into a small truck. I've got this thing twisted sideways. It's going down in there. Once it gets down past that little hump right there, I can turn it back around right. But man, this has been something else. I hope y'all can see what is happening here. Cause this is just, this is wild. Never in my life have I had this much issue putting a daggum motor into a vehicle. But of course, you know, I am putting Chevrolet into a Ford. A V6 come out and I'm putting a V8 in. So this is this is wild. But hey, I've got it halfway down in there. So I'm gonna continue to drop it, spin it, and then set it in place. And that, my friends, is what an LS motor looks like setting in a Ford truck. It was a real tough fit. I had to twist it sideways. I had to turn it. Believe it or not, there was very minimum cuss words. Um, but once I got it going down in there, it slid off in the hole. I still got to pick it up, pick it down, you know, up and down, up and down. Uh, get my motor mounts um, welded up in there. Um, get my transmission to the back of it and get everything hooked up but that is a very good fit the ls went right up in there um i think i'm gonna have enough room maybe for my fan to go into the radiator uh, the radiator is gonna set right here tight to this i may have to take this out so air conditioning might be mm, something i do way down the road but the fan goes right there right there so but this is the air conditioner condenser it may have to go for right this time being um get my radiator in get all that hooked up and like i said i gotta look the up and down up and down uh put build my motor mounts because there's nothing you know i guess i could probably order them there i'm sure there's some aftermarket crap i can get but basically, I'm going to build stuff, uh, hook everything up, and get this little LS going in this little Ford truck. And I'll keep you all updated on the progress. But for right now, it looks pretty neat set down in there. I mean, that's, that's a real tight fit. Um, like I said, I had to turn the damn motor sideways to get it going in there. Uh, it was a challenge. But hey... That's what Rooster Up's all about. You jump on them challenges, you work them, you get them done. It's called Rooster Up. I roostered up on this bastard. It's done. It's in there. So, like I said, my next challenge is uh, get the transmission. I'm going to use a five-speed transmission. I had an old blue truck. Y'all have seen the old blue truck in other videos where, uh, you know, fishing and what have you. I pulled it apart. Um, I'm rebuilding the motor. It's on my motor stand out there in the redneck garage. So, but for right now, this is one that I bought. Uh, it's supposed to run. Who knows? You know, you get shit out of junkyard. You don't know if that shit's going to run or not. So anyways, that's where I'm at today is the motor is actually in the truck. Woohoo. Uh, we're going to start hooking stuff up and cutting stuff away because i've got a lot of extra wires and crap here that i just don't need no more and figure out uh what's what and get this thing to come alive and i think this one here y'all give me some suggestions on names what should i name it what should i put right there across the front window 
you know, all these projects, these uh, car dudes on TV, they got, they always name them like Copperhead, and they they name them, uh, you know, Junk Rat Rods, and they they got stupid names for all their little vehicles that they build. Uh, Y'all give me some suge some suggestions down in the comments. Uh, let me know what you think I should name this. Should I name it Inbreed? Should I should I name it Crossbreed? Should I name it, uh, you know, kind of its own? That sounds pretty good, kind of its own. Uh, anyways, y'all, if see what y'all come up with. Tell me what you think, and let me know in the comments there. So, but the motor is in the truck today. That was my goal, is just getting this motor in this truck. I'm going to get the hood back on it so it's covered up, and go from there. So, I hope y'all have enjoyed this uh, video. Hit the like button subscribe button share button share with your friends uh you know look what this crazy ass redneck's doing in his backyard and trust me i'm in my backyard mosquitoes and all so you know let's get some likes let's get some shares let's get some comments going on i mean y'all people just act like y'all afraid to even comment uh, i'm not going to take whatever you say good bad or indifferent because it don't matter to me it does kind of matter I like to hear from you. The folks that has commented in the past, I appreciate it. My new subscribers, welcome to the channel. I hope you stick around. I uh, hope we get some more subscribers. Um, need more subscribers always. And y'all be well, be safe, wear your mask. Um, oh, and by the way, I have got my first vaccination shot. Uh, I got the Moderna. Um, I've got about 15 more days to go and get my second Moderna shot. And then I'll be fully vaccinated. So uh, I was a little sore the first day I slept. My shoulder was a little sore. After that, it was sore for about a week. Um, but hell, it feels good now. I'm all good. So you cry baby one asses. Oh, I'm not going to get vaccinated. Shut up. Go get the goddamn vaccination. It ain't no big deal. Stop being damn little penny waist sissies and get your shit done. Peace out, rooster up, like, subscribe, share, tell your friends about me. Love y'all.